Hey there guys, welcome back to Clumsy Danny and welcome to another Destiny video. Today I'm going to be going over the loot which I have got from this last week's Iron Banner. I haven't managed to play a lot of Iron Banner, I managed to get one character up to rank 5, but that is it. I haven't had really time to get my two alternate accounts up to rank 5, so there isn't too much loot, but there is a couple of nice little rolls in here, which I thought I would share with you. I'm going to be doing some form of loot-based video every Monday from now on, so that if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, please hit the like button on this video, and subscribe for more daily and weekly Destiny content. So then, obviously this week I'll just give you a quick rundown of what I got first and then we'll look at the rolls I got on those individual weapons. So I managed to get one of the Colovances Duty, I managed to get two Bretomart Stands, and I got two Iron Companion Helmets, and I managed to get three, yes three, of the Wolfswood Marks. So if that gives you a good indication of sort of the rarity of these things, Colovances Duty, my most rare drop in, in total really. So we'll look, we'll start with that inside the Colovances Duty. I've used it a little bit as you can tell by the very, very tiny green little smidge there. I used it for like a game and I don't really like it. It is a high impact, but it's quite a slow rate of fire. And I don't think it does enough work to be able to be a, a viable PvP weapon. The rolls I got on it were Focus Lens FLS2, the ranged lens RLR5 and the True Sight IS. I then get crowd control, crowd control even, field scout, hand laid stock, and rifled barrel. And I also got the gorilla fighter perk at the end there. It's not a really good roll, in all honesty. I feel like I'd want something that is better with stability. Obviously, you got the hand laid stock, but perhaps something other than crowd control and gorilla fighter might have helped with this roll overall. It's what I'm probably going to use as infusion for fuel for my other weapons over the next few days. So it's, it's not perfect, but it's it looks nice, and that's the main thing. It, it looks quite looks quite nice, you know. Looks quite nice. So then we'll move on to the first Bretomart stand. Now this is the one I've been using more over the last few days. Um, it's not too bad. It's it's got very high stability, but I do feel like there's a lot of sort of jump kick whenever you're firing it. So it's one that again I'll keep for the Iron Banner, but I probably won't use again. I'll probably dismantle one of them, well, the other one, just so I've got another 335 sort of heavy ammo, uh, heavy weapon even. So the role I got on this was Aggressive Ballistics, Linear Compensator and Soft Ballistics, Counterbalance, High Caliber Rolls, Braced Frame, Rifled Barrel, and then Army of One at the end there. So actually, it's not a bad roll, it's quite nice, but I just don't feel it's as good in PvP as it could be. I feel like it could have a little bit of a higher rate of fire, a little bit of less bullet kick whenever you're shooting, and then it perhaps would have been a bit of a more viable PvP weapon. So we'll have a look at the other one I got, and the other one I got I haven't used at all. I got CQB Ballistics, Smart Drift Control, Soft Ballistics, Underdog, Perfect Balance, Hand Laid Stock, Small Bore, and then Range Finder at the end there. As I guess Range Finder is useful because the range on this weapon is absolutely tiny, but it, I, I've never really found it to be a problem over the last week. So really, it's, that's perhaps my weaker of my two rolls, and that's the one I'm going to be infusing perhaps into my Raze Lighter, or perhaps into my sleeper simulant. We'll, we'll find out that over the next few days. So then we'll look at the Iron Companion Helmets. I also got on these Increased Discipline, Increased Strength, Hands-On, Angel of Mercy and Invigoration. And then on the other one, I managed to get Increased Discipline, Increased Strength, Second Thoughts, Angel of Mercy and Infusion. So they're nice, but they're only 334. I don't really think I'm going to be using these after sort of this Iron Banner. I far prefer, and I'll just find it now. I'm not sure what I've done with it. Where is it? Where is it? There we go, the Spectre Heliopores helm. I like this at the moment. This is a nice helmet. And then, as I said, I got three of the Wolfswood marks. I did have one coming into the Iron Banner, so I did get three. I got one, three, thir uh, sorry, two, 335, and one, 334. Obviously, with the helmets, they were both 334. The Colvance's duty was 334, and then I got two, 335 Bretton Mart stands. So, all in all, it's not been a bad Iron Banner for loot. I wish I'd been able to play a bit more, perhaps get my alternate accounts to rank 5. That would have resulted in me getting a lot more loot, although it would have been at a bit of a lower light level. But in all fairness, I can't wait for next month. It should be good. I think it'll be control next month, if I'm correct. And, well, we'll see what the, the Iron Lords have to offer us then. I'm sure we'll have heard more about the Rise of Iron DLC. Of course, if you want to know anything about Destiny, including news, the news, the updates, anything about Rise of Iron, do subscribe to the channel as I will be letting you guys know as soon as any new information is released. But for now, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.